Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to do some pinpointing tests, some troubleshooting your throttle position sensor on your Ford F-150 or any 5.43 valve Triton engine. In the previous diagnostic videos I went through and did like the map, but I'm going to try to do these series differently because a lot of the tests are redundant. Um, you repeat them throughout the whole thing. So this will, according to my sheet, refer to diagnostic codes P0068, P0121, P0123, P1120, or P1124 present. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to troubleshoot and diagnose most of it. I'm not gonna get into more detail about uh, in the wiring harness. I'm just gonna cover what probably your main issues that you're going to find. So in the 5.4 three valve engine, zoom out, zoom back in. That's your throttle position sensor right behind there. I'm gonna spray it with WD-40. And that just helps lubricate it. Oh, we got that red piece. That's got to slide up as I just did. Now what I found what was easiest is that I pulled this back and this is just operated by this green tab very carefully. And then I pulled that away. So able to get this wire connector out. Now mine is a four wire connector. So this is gonna be different troubleshooting from your three wire connector. So with my multimeter, get that down there. So you can see. So with those two wires, I just got back probes shoved in there. I should see at least four and a half, five volts on both those wires. So first one right there, five volts. So I know the harness is good. And then right there, four and a half, or 4.85, sorry. So now I wanna take this wire out, plug it into there. Now, if you go down the rabbit hole, they wanted you to test resistance, but if I touch right there, I got my volts reading. So I know there's no short in that wire. So then I'm gonna move it over. So now that I got it in the outside one, touch there, yeah, I got a volt reading. So if you didn't get a volt reading with the key on, engine off, well, you're probed to both of those and you got a short in your wiring harness somewhere. So, so at this point in time, you really want to inspect your plug for corrosion, right? You want to inspect the wires and if everything looks good, you can plug it back in. Now, before I get to the scanner part here, if you got any of those codes or multiple codes, you really want to pull up the freeze frame data because the freeze frame data is the moment that it happened. So, especially if it's not a continuous code, um, it'll help you pinpoint what exactly the issue is. So what I'm gonna do is just pull up some data, go into live data. So you see at my scanner right here, it tells me uh, throttle position sensor volts and also tells me no faults. But I'm just gonna go to the graph. So right now it says my throttle position sensor is at 16%. Well, the pedal position is at zero. And that makes sense because when you turn on your vehicle, in order for the airflow to go through, the throttle plate actually opens up a bit. So now, so what you really want to look for here is the relationship. As I press on the throttle, the throttle position should match on the graph. As I jump off the pedal, it's going to go back. If I mash the pedal instantly, they're both going to spike up 
and then back down. So if my throttle position percentage was going flat line and let's say your throttle position was jumping around then obviously you have an issue with your sensor or possibly the wiring harness but right now I am seeing that it's matching pretty good so we kind of just talked about this and did it in the last clip but they want you to on the graph is to accelerate the pedal and like I talked about before you want to make sure that it's smooth right as I'm releasing and I'm gonna get about half throttle here and I'm gonna simulate um, a faulty signal so I was just hammering on the gas there releasing so if you're stepping on the throttle and you're getting a signal like that, there's something wrong. And then there's a the problem in the wiring harness. And we're going to do the wiggle test now. And the wiggle test, um, you'll be able to see in the voltage, if the voltage starts moving around while you're wiggling, then you know you got an issue. Or if you got a dead short and you want to wiggle the wires, you can kind of see. So I just got my scanner. And if you want to wiggle the wire and if something was bad you want to follow this all the way along the harness like shake it move it throttle position sensor tap it and if you see the voltage move then you got an issue somewhere so now let's recap look at your live data where the throttle position sensor failed that data will be very critical I went through some of the tests we tested the harness by checking for voltage we've also not only checked the voltage from ground to the battery we also checked it on the other two pins to verify that indeed there's not a short in the harness at all we did the wiggle test no issues we did the relationship between the throttle body and the throttle position sensor and they're both linear we did the smoothness in the throttle position sensor itself now if you had issues during any of those tests then your throttle position sensor is probably most likely bad but you gotta troubleshoot you gotta troubleshoot and get down to the issue itself so i hope you guys enjoyed this short video if you had any questions or comments post them below and i'll see you in the next one